Hey everyone, it's Jessica here. My username is JessCakesBanded. And today I am here to do my two-week post-op lap van video. Yay! Sparkles is here with me. She just had a bath, so she smells so good. And I'm letting her on my bed because she doesn't smell like pee-pee anymore. <laughs> Isn't she just the cutest ever? Anyway, so I had a really good week this week. Um, as far as my healing goes, everything is going just fine. Um, I am, I don't, I'm not really sore anymore um, as far as incision pain or abdomen pain. Um, I, um, if I, you know, do too much or I'm bending over a lot or, you know, like when I pick her up, she only weighs about 12 pounds, but when I pick her up, sometimes when I come back up, I'll have like soreness in my, um, in certain areas of my abdomen. But, um, other than that, um, I don't have any pain, um, except I've been getting like killer, uh, shoulder pain, like gas pain in my, I, I'm assuming it's gas pain. That's what my surgeon said it was, but it's like all in my shoulder. And, um, I actually get it when I'm walking a lot. Um, so, you know, walking is supposed to help it, but I'm just assuming that the walking and the movement is like releasing those toxins into my body. Um, sorry, I'm like super booby today. Um, releasing the, releasing the toxins into my body, um, which caused the pain. Uh, but, um, I don't know when that's going to end. Um, sometimes it's like really, really bad, but it comes and goes. So that's okay. Um, oh, okay. So got on the scale this morning and I lost 2.6 pounds. So that brings me to a total of 16.6 pounds down. Um, I'm so happy. Uh, so in the past, let's see. Um, I'm down 10 pounds since surgery. So 10 pounds in two weeks, but, um, but 16 pounds in total. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, I was just telling my mom though, you know, she's like, oh, do you feel better? And I'm like, well, I'm not really wearing clothes because I'm not doing a whole lot, um, this week. You know, I'm not getting dressed up or anything. So I'm not sure if my clothes are fitting or um, fitting better. So I don't know about that. And then I'm like, you know, I I don't notice my achievements as much just because I'm not working out as much. Um, I usually base my achievements on how active I am. What are we eating? It's like eating something. Um, on how active I am and how good I feel. Um, since I'm not like super active right now and I'm not um, working out as much, all I'm doing is walking and, you know, I, um, I can't do those things and my energy is pretty low, I'm not getting the full extent that I just lost 16 pounds, you know. Um, but once I do start feeling better, then that feeling is going to come really fast because um, not only have I lost weight, but I'll also be lighter. So I'm assuming working out will be easier for me um, like it used to be. Um, what else? So my scars look pretty good. I've been putting the Kilo Coat on there as well as Neosporin. Um, that's what my dermatologist told me to do is just always have something on it. Um, either ointment or vitamin E or, um, Neosporin, whatever, scar cream. So, um, that's fine. Um, what else? So I've actually, last night, I was like starving all night and I don't know if it's because I just wanted to eat or if it's because I was actually hungry but um, usually you know I get hungry and then I'll eat and then I'll be satisfied but last night I like I made my dinner I had like some 
um, squash, probably about less than a half a cup of squash, and then I made a poached egg and I put it on top of there. And it was really good, but I ate that and I was like, I'm still hungry. So then I had a piece, a piece of cheese. Um, I bought the buffalo mozzarella. So that's only 70 calories for one ounce. Um, but, you know, since I'm not eating a lot at an ounce, it feels like kind of a lot right now. Um, and I ate that and I was still hungry. And then I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like, do I keep eating or am I going to stretch out the band or, you know, and I didn't feel anything happening to me. So I was like, maybe I'll just wait. And I just like, I was still hungry, but I didn't eat anymore. I waited and then I, I had half of a protein shake before I went to bed. Um... And I feel like that's kind of the way things are going right now. Um, I'm getting more and more hungry. My appetite's coming back. And I'm sticking to it. But, you know, they say I should be at a quarter of a cup of food. And I'm at a half a cup or more of food per meal. Um, I do either two or three, like, meals. Um, and two or three um, protein shakes. So I guess my calories are up to a thousand or so, maybe even, you know, give or take a little bit. So um, I'm doing well with that. And what else? Oh, um, you know, some of the food I'm eating is the um, low-fat refried beans that I made. If you haven't watched my video, you can watch that. Um, I also eat, like, today I had three egg whites scrambled and then a quarter of a avocado and that was really really good <laughs> um and I'll eat sometimes I'll have a piece of cheese um or I don't know if cheese really counts as soft food but it is soft <laughs> it's not like hard cheese and it's really satisfying to me so I'll eat that. Um, so that's basically, or soup. Um, but, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about is, um, okay, so you know how they say not to eat and drink at the same time because that just turns all of the food into liquid and liquid passes through your band. But I was eating soup, like um, hot and sour soup, and it had little pieces of soft tofu in it. Um... It had, like, egg and soft tofu in it, and as eating that, like, as a meal, and I wasn't drinking with it, I was, you know, I did the 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after, and, um, but I was, like, eating, and I wasn't getting full, and I was, like, isn't this the same thing as drinking? Because isn't all the tofu and the egg just turning into liquid anyway? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to ask about that, because... I couldn't eat soup like it's nothing. And then the other day I went out and I had, um, I went to um, San Francisco Soup Company and I had the low fat um, chicken tortilla soup. And it's actually really good because they, they do blend it up. Um, and I had 12 ounces of that. That's more than a cup. And I know I'm only supposed to eat a cup, but I was like not getting full and I wasn't feeling any restriction from it um and it was only like 200 calories for 12 ounces 250 calories for 12 ounces so I was like I don't think that's bad for me but I don't know I'm trying to follow all the rules but I'm like confused because you know I do want to get enough calories and I do want to be satisfied and some you know usually I am but sometimes I feel like I'm not so I don't know so those are just the things that kind of came up this week and I'm not sure I really want a fill um the next time I see my surgeon but she said I should be on mushy food until then but I feel like I could probably start on the regular food, you know, coming up in a few weeks. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. I want to do everything she says, and I'm going to. I'm going to follow all the rules, but I'm also like, let's get this going because I don't feel like there's anything happening. <laughs> you know, I'm not eating as much, and I'm losing weight, so that's good, but I feel like I'm like, what's going on? Like, is this thing on? <laughs> So, um, yeah, and so everything's going good. Um, anyway, so I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next weekend, or next week, on Thursday. Sparkle says goodbye. Goodbye!